Traditionally, new businesses couldn't recover damages for lost profits in breach of contract cases because such damages were considered too speculative or uncertain. However, some states have altered this rule to allow new businesses to recover damages for lost profits in some cases. In the 1976 case Fira v. Village Plaza, the Michigan Supreme Court considered whether a new business could recover damages for lost profits for a breach of a commercial lease. In 1965, Anthony and Frank Fira executed a 10-year lease with Village Plaza for a book and bottle shop in Village's proposed shopping center. Pursuant to the lease, the Firas agreed to pay Village $1,000 per month plus 5% of their annual receipts in excess of $240,000 for a space in the center. After the lease was executed, the Firas gave up nearly 600 square feet of their space so that the space could be leased to another tenant. In return, Village agreed that receipts would be excluded from the percentage rent override provision of the Firas's lease. When the shopping center was finished, Village refused to allow the Firas to occupy the space because the lease had been misplaced and the space had been rented to other tenants. Instead, Village offered to rent the Firas another space in the center, but the Firas refused because the offered space was unsuitable for their planned business venture. Subsequently, the Firas sued Village and State Circuit Court for a breach of the lease agreement, alleging lost profits as damages. Following trial, a jury returned a verdict for the Firas, awarding them $200,000 in damages for lost profits. Village appealed to the Court of Appeals, which reversed and remanded the case for a new trial on the issue of damages only. Specifically, the appeals court held that a new business can't recover damages for lost profits because such damages are entirely speculative. The Firas then appealed to the Michigan Supreme Court.